Hello, so this is just going to be a quick one where I show off some brand new toys for us agentic developers out here. So there is a new brain that we can use with our models. So this is called DeepSeek R1, a DeepSeek Reasoner. It's supposed to be on the same level, ostensibly, as OpenAI's O1 model. So I will just show you how you can use it in the common IDEs. This will work with any Visual Studio Code fork. So I'll just show you actually in cursor so this is available through Klein plugin so there's two Klein plugins actually if you search for Klein in the marketplace in any of your Visual Studio Code forks I'll let me show you in Windsurf too why not yep so like if you go to the marketplace here, and obviously it will work in Visual Studio Code as well. So Klein, search for Klein. So I recommend you install both. You know, they have different features. The Rue Klein team sort of ships quicker. They add more experimental features and, you know, it's a different subject there. So anyway, once that's installed, you can go into Klein. And the way that you can use it is through Open Router. So you need to go to Open Router. Just start up a little browser window and find Open Router here. Okay. OpenRouter.ai. You sign in. Okay. Great, so I already did this, obviously. First thing you need to do, add some credits, right? And then the next thing you do, you get yourself an API key, and then you copy that, and you go into your client settings, select Open Router, paste your API key here. There'll be Anthropic or something by default there. You just clear that, start typing Deep Seek, select your R1, and you're good to go. And in RuClient, process is basically the same the form looks a little different select your open router enter here and yeah you're good to go you can ask it I asked it like read the documents in the code base make some recommendations you know it's, it's, it doesn't have enough context essentially to make good decisions but I mean this isn't bad analysis without any context to be honest so yeah I'm going to be putting through this this through its paces incorporating it into my development workflow later when I'm building voice agents so if you're interested in seeing that, you know, tune in. Um, but that's pretty much it. Cool. Enjoy. Actually, I did forget to mention one thing. So apparently there is a pull request in the official client repository to add support for this new model there. So what you'll be able to do is in your client settings, select DeepSeek, put your DeepSeek API key here, and then you'll be able to select DeepSeek Reasoner or DeepSeek R1, depending on how they add it to there. So maybe I'll just show you my DeepSeek account, like how you would get that. One second, DeepSeek. Yep, so it'll be platform.deepseek.com. You'll have to sign in. Okay. Go ahead. Yep, same deal. So you'll, um, once you got this, you'll have to top up, of course, and then make an API key, copy it from here, and do the same thing um, here. Yep, you paste it there, and you're good to go. Same thing this obviously i'll just show you exactly the same deal i'm using this in windsurf so yeah enjoy